all this is me sondarya ks in this video i will uh, i will te uh, teach you on how you need to create the balloon booster game the balloon booster game is made simple and it is very very easy to create so come on let's create it so first of all we need to understand how the game is created if we understood uh, the how the game is created the creating will be very very easy so yeah let's uh, begin so here can you see this is an a uh, bow and here i have uh, right now i have posted so yeah uh, so here you have this red balloon arranged green balloons blue balloon pink balloons so if i move uh, i can move the bow with my arrow and if i press the space key the if i press the space key and arrow is shot the arrow is coming from the balloons uh, from the bow uh, x position right no is it x position remember that the x position is this this is the x and this is the y which is here and here this is the y and this is the x um, if you remember your max teacher might have told you this one <laughs> Okay, speaking about max, fine. So here the arrow will be uh, coming from the bow's y position. So the bow's y position will be the same as the arrow's y position. So currently, if I press the space key, the arrow will be shot from this y position. And even if I move, the arrow will be going to that y position. So this is the basic game, and the you can could you see the background? It is changing. It is it is an infinite background. I will even tell you how to do the infinite background. So yeah, let's start. And this is this will be the part one, uh, stage one of this balloon buster because we have many, you know, we uh we will be creating. Uh, you know it will be floating and we will be creating all that do uh, watch it stage by stage so that you will get it so i have this empty project with the sketch files which has the image of red green blue pink and the background image and the bow image and the arrow image it has all the sketch files in the description box below i have given the link of the p5.web editor you can go there you can log on with your account uh, or or else you can create your own account and then you know work on me uh, work on it with it and you can also apply your own creativity what it is not like whatever i do you need to do you can change some properties and check what is happening so let's start and yeah, uh, forgot to tell you can uh, please share the link and post it in the comment below so everyone can see it, right? So they can they can uh, take some help for with you. And if you get uh, anything wrong, don't feel you know, or uh, don't get angry. Just uh, share the code below, and then I'll uh, we'll we'll see. Uh, I'll try to check. So I'll put this share. You need to go to file and share, and then click this one of those link. So I'm in my account, so that's why it says case on the way. Okay. So let's start. So first of all, we need to like start by creating the background and the canvas because there is now no code given here. So we need to first of all, uh, you know, do those. Uh, things here so for uh, first of all before going ahead i'll just save this thing okay now sketch is saved i did not even sketch it anything yet but i just want to save it you 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 just need to save it again and again so that your work doesn't go into you know it doesn't go to dump yard so first of all we need to create the canvas so canvas is nothing but the stage it's a stage where your um where your images where you where the uh, whatever command you are giving can be executed there so creating the creating the uh, the canvas so creating the canvas so i'll just create the canvas to 400 comma 400 you can change for yourself you can even give 500 comma 500 it is upon you but i'm going to go to the standard one which is 400 comma 400 
so now i i want the background to be a display so the background is not the color background it has some image at the background background has some image at the background <laughs> that's cool uh, so uh, as the uh, background has some images we need to first of all we need to load the image you load the image and function preload so you have something called loading the image where the where where you given variable where you given variable variable is something where the data can be stored there can we can we say like that the data um, you know we, when we want the particular data to be stored you can have a variable to store the data so i'll say that the var var means a short form for variable which can computer can understand that this is a variable so var we can say that a background right var background image so now i will now i have now created the uh, variable background image so now i need, i will load uh, the uh, image of the background 0.png to background image so how should i load the image i i will say background image is equal to load image i'll say like that and then i'll say that the load image say what or oh, load image what what should i load the computer will ask me right so i'll say load the background uh, 0. png so how do i get the background 0. png is i you know you can uh, increase the sketch <laughs> yeah, okay i'm playing with it uh, you can increase the sketch um, you know you can okay so you won't be getting it right so there is an arrow key here right here you just need to click it and you will be um, the computer will be showing you the sketch files that you have it right here so you have you can just expand it and see those thing but it won't be displaying because you know pf doesn't do that if you want it to be displayed go to file and click download and it will be in your downloads file in that you can view it okay so yeah let's um, continue continue okay now uh, we have loaded the image we have just loaded it but we haven't tell the computer that you need to display it in the background so how should we tell we can use the background uh, command maybe the background command background uh, maybe background okay background image so the background will be the telling the computer that the background will be the background image and uh, yeah uh, what is function preload function preload is an uh, this is a predefined function which is done in the javascript code um, looking at the javascript at the basics level you have this p5 play.js where those codes are written that there is some uh, you know style.js it's for padding it's for displaying it's for displaying it and uh, sketch.js is where you are giving some uh, you know your you are giving some instruction to the computer is where that you work on you can even change some style or js you can say that margin is equal to 2 and like it will be previewed like that so that's how you know it it does so when yeah can you see the margin is 0 i said this one and margin is 2 and there is more margin if the margin is to see you can watch more this uh, difference can you see that yes so now i like uh, yeah i will have some um, video on that also so he, uh, when we talk about sketch.js we have this predefined functions i have a video on function do watch that if you want to learn about more on functions so let's continue so ab- after the background you have those you need to like uh, the background has been created but now can you see the background is running the background is running always even though if you see the uh, this app for about 2 to 3 months the background will be still running it should never ever stop so we can say that the background should never end so can we say this is an infinite background this is our what's what's okay so we can say that it is an infinite background so to create an infinite background what should we do there need to be loop 
see um when uh when we okay let's take this example i think you might when you are in childhood maybe in the second or first standard or in second or first grade can you uh do that thing where you hold each other hands and form a circle like this you form a circle like this you have this you or you may hold each other's and you form a circle like this so this circle when i start from this boy or a girl when i uh, let me name it as a when i start from this a i go and rotate uh, i rotate i rotate you know if i go this way or this way you know if i just count on count on count on, this is never going to stop but yeah things could be repeating but this never going to stop right so that uh, that one you know it's going it's even though if we count for you know for 7 billion years it's it is not going to stop right because circle you know you go run 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 you say 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15. so you know it will be you will be counting you be counting for years 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 so that's how that that's how a background should also be running uh, uh, you know our background should never ever stop it should be running always so for that we have we need to create a variable when we talk about a variable variable we first we need to define it. I'll, i'll i'll just put a comma and i'll just define it here i'll say variable crown I'll say variable ground. So you could understand till here, right? Variable ground has been created. Now we need to, you know, we need to create the ground. So what I am going to do is, I am going to create the ground. I'm going to create the ground, and I'm going to add the image to the ground of the background image. Correct. Right? Now I'm going to say that the ground dot x position is equal to the ground dot width by two. Yeah, I'll I'll just explain it while I'm like writing code. So I'll say ground dot uh, ground is equal to create sprite. So what's create sprite? I think you if you have seen my pong ping pong game, you must have uh, got what's the create sprite. It is nothing but you know while you are creating something. So create sprite. I want the whole canvas to be created. I want the whole thing. You know, I want this. Thing to be created. Okay, uh, before going further more, I want to tell you something. So, how the computer reads the code? You need to understand this be before you're going further. So, how the computer reads it? It reads from the line one to line fourteen. First of all, how much of a line is there? It reads from that, and it go back to line number eleven, not line number one. The computer reads the only the draw function again and again. It only reads this function of you know till here till the draw function. It only reads once. It only reads once until you say the computer in the draw function to read the function setup. It will read it. It will read it. So that's how it is. Okay. So uh, when we uh, when you when you say the computer that you know uh, go to. when you see the computer when you create some functions you see the computer that reads that thing and it will be reading it great so now i'll say ground is equal to create sprite now as we know the uh, setup will run only once will only run start of the code so we need to like give something in the draw function also we can we cannot do only the function setup we so we uh, we are just creating it in setting up it is something like we are just going to set up the board we are just going to set up the something like uh, you know you as you are going to go to a drama and you are going to uh, perform a skit there you you need some setup right you need some props you need some uh, materials for you to access something like that thing something like that and for function preload it is like function preload is something like loading you are um, you know you are something like how should i say uh you are giving some things to one people right so if they are 
five of them, uh, maybe say A, B, C, D, E, you want to give that uh, some uh, scene to A, some scene to B. So that is function preload. You are assigning some things to some variables. Variables are something like think of your um, drama, uh, you know, drama people. So think this code, coding as a drama and you can just, you know, vis visualize things more good and you know you can understand it but is this, it is not a real thing just an example i'm just giving it so ground or add image is equal to the uh, when we say about add image you have things called label labels you will you will you're gonna give it here which is nothing but ground I, i'm gonna tell the ground is the label and then i'll say that add image ground the label and what should it add it will ask me what should it add background image right background image we already loaded with load uh background zero to png so i'll say that add the image right here okay so i am saying that add the image right here and then uh, right now i'm just saying that ground dot x is equal to ground dot width by two. Now ground dot width by two is something where it is in chain. We are now making like a chain. So when ground dot x position, what is the x position right now? I'll just use this one itself. What is the x position right now? We have the x position. X position is something where it is. I'll just make it. So you can see the preview right so when the x position is still uh, is this one x position is this one so when we uh, when when we say the x position is um you know this line here this is 0 comma 0 and this is 400 comma 0 and when you come down this is so yeah this is how it is so when when I say ground dot x position is equal to the ground dot width by two, that means the ground dot width, which is nothing but the size. When when we take a rectangle, when we take a rectangle, when we draw a rectangle, the length is uh the, the length is the down value and the width is here. We can also call it as breadth, but in computer we say it is width. So this is the basic uh, mathematics so when we say width by two let's take this uh, rectangle as our background so when i say width by two width by two means right here right or right here okay so right here the width by two whatever sums it up and it goes joins it i don't think so you'll be able to understand it okay now i'll explain it clearly right now so we, I said that ground dot x position. What is the x position? X position. Uh, we are creating the x position at zero, a point zero, and now point zero is okay. Someone is calling. Wait a minute. Yep. Thank you. <laughs> okay. So zero comma zero. So zero is right here. Okay. We have created the thing is right here. Right. So now this is zero comma zero, and I am saying that ground or x position, the ground or x position, which is here at here, is width by two. Then width by two means half half of the width is equal to the x position. So what is the half of the width? Half of the width might be here, right? Might be the half of the canvas. So uh, see right here, I have wrote the same. Can you see it is changing? It's it's going like and it's bulping off. It's going bulping off. See, so it, it is because this thing, uh, and there is in some changes in the graph. The graph is not straight. The graph uh, uh, does like this one. Okay, so the graph is changing. So we can understand that here the graph is bulping off more, more. So that that means that there is some interconnection. That means that uh, it is loading and it is again doing it. So it is like something like when the exposition of the canvas, it is like chaining on. It is like making a chain. Okay. So I hope uh, everyone like understood this. Again, who's that? Great. So now uh, ground dot width by two. So now I'll just move in. So if you did not understand it even now, 
just you know uh, see me going through it and you will be able to understand it uh, you know while i'm doing the draw function and all you will be able to understand it both clear now so now i'll say in the draw function i will i will now first of all we have not created uh, this thing so first of all i'll just remove this i'll just comment this okay i'll just comment this okay now what is the problem any problem no problem okay great so um can you see this there is nothing there mm, whatever i'm doing with towards the background image can you see because we have just created this sprite we need to draw the sprite so draw sprite draw the sprite is much more, more much more important oh sprite so okay yes now it's coming right so this is the basic thing this is what we are doing so when we uh, let me give the velocity let me give the velocity as ground or velocity because the ground needs to be moving right the ground needs to be moving only then you will get then uh, you know the, when only then the, when the ground is moving it will be very realistic so the ground is moving okay, let it move so can you see here can you see here there is some bug here there is some bug here can you say uh, can you say why because the, when the x position when the x position is reach zero when the x position is below zero the x position could not you know arrange itself right okay so here well, let me explain it so when the x position has reached zero when it has reached zero it could not able to run again it could not it could not run again because the background has changed that's in the background there is nothing you know there is um, the background has changed and there is no more background to be uh, to for it to run right for it to run there is no more background so that's why the uh, we need to create that the x position of the ground is equal to the width by 2 so that the ground will be keep on keep on rotating 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 whenever the x position okay now now let let me like um do this piece of code here so that you know ground i'll say ground dot x is equal to ground dot width by 2 so we'll see what happens can you see it stopped moving it stopped moing why because we have da given that See, the x position will be keep on moving in uh, in our ground x position will be keep on moving so when the x position is keep on moving while you are telling the constant the constant the ground dot x will be the ground dot width by 2 that means we are dividing the width and you are telling that this is what it needs to be followed and the ground will not be moving because you you have given this standard constant that Right, so when I, you know, when I change the ground by three, what happens? Let's see. So it, it you know, like the width has been cut up by three, and when I put eight, what happens? So that's how you can just play with it. But I'm just gonna stick with two. So what should I give now? I need to give that if the ground dot x position is below zero, only then you need to do this. Or else you do that. Or if it is stop the velocity, we create an you know an issue in our game. So that's why we are going to do this one. This part is extremely difficult to understand. So you know you need to get that that uh, this is one. The ground or x position is equal to ground or width or ground by two is that we are now creating the chain. When the ground or x position, that means when the uh, as the x position is moving towards this. towards this direction there won't be any you know okay tell that they are five uh, you know they are five students they are five students a b c a b c d e they all five students are running towards this and they, in you know in maybe in some time there would be no students standing there because they already ran to this direction they ran to my left so there will be no student here right so after some time there will be no student there will be blank of students so what should i tell so what should i tell them i need to tell that 
the x position the x position they are just changing the x position so i need to tell that your x position is your width by 2 so if they are 5 it will be 2.5 again they will come in uh you know uh, again after they go after x you know this is their canvas right after they go above this they are they will again rearrange themselves so when they go above this they will again rearrange themselves when they go above this they will again re rearrange themselves so that is why we give this one so if even though if i like you know i'll just comment this it's still running because how this setup runs only one so it is not a main thing it is not you know uh and thing where you need it, it needs to be there in the function setup it, it can only be there in the function draw or uh you know it can be in both but it should be in function draw only then the code will run good great now i hope you know there is no confusion in this if you have if you still have any confusion go back to my explanation again and watch it you know one more time okay now let's move on to creating our balloons i will create the red balloons which which will be we will be using the for loop i have a video on for loop do watch it if you have you know if you want to like uh, know about for loop so yeah i'm i'm gonna be like going super speedy because this video you know it might have okay so it is long time now so i i'll go super speedy now now we, i'm gonna say the computer that i'm gonna like create the variable variable of uh red in a uh, red balloon so variable balloon uh balloon red comma balloon image red so i'm gonna create that balloon uh, balloon okay now i'm gonna like load the images i'm gonna like load the image to my balloon red balloon image so i'll say balloon image red is equal to load image what image was given for the balloon let me quickly see that okay quickly let me see it says red uh, balloon dot zero dot png so i'll just write the same code same thing it just be exactly the same or else your code will never ever work I'm not saying never. I'm not being that good. <laughs> I'm just saying that you need to be careful while writing the sketch file. So we have loaded the image. Now its next option is creating the balloon. So where will we create it? We will create it in function setup or function draw. Oh, that's a good question, right? Should we create it in function setup or function draw? Function setup runs only once. Function draw runs continuously. So when we say about the balloons, you know, uh, currently we are in um, part one. But while we are going to part, you know, while we are improving, while we are going to say part uh, stage two, stage three, and all, when the arrow is hit, when the arrow is hit here, the balloon needs to be destroyed. The balloon needs to be destroyed. So when the draw function is keep on executing, when the draw function is keep on executing, when I when I destroy it again, the balloon will be formed. When I destroy it again, the balloon will be formed. So I don't want that, right? Once I uh, once I destroy, destroy. That's it. The balloon should not appear again. So that's how we need, right? Or else if you get to create a bug, so we need to do it in a function setup. Yep. So now I'll just um you know go to my function setup and do it i'll say that they were, I'll, I'll say i'll just comment and write one line because you know only then you know while i'm sharing the link in the description box below you'll be able to understand what i whatever i'm running and whatever i'm do, uh, doing here so create red balloons so create red balloons in what create red balloons in the for loop function so for a uh, variable you can watch that video on for loop so that you get a clear you know understanding on this for loop i'll just explain it very quickly here because i don't have uh, much time for variable i is equal to 60 you can uh, you know you can always change it and you know do some experiments with this for uh, uh, loop okay what happened there is a, I, I didn't even finish doing my code and uh, yeah. Yeah, for loop i is equal to i which should be below the empty 90 then 
I I is equal to I plus 60. And then I'll just close the back rate and then I'll open a curly bracket and then I'll say balloon. Yeah, wait a minute, I'll just explain it after you know doing writing this code on is equal to create sprite we were creating the sprite right where we actually created what is the you know what what changes wait a minute i'll just oh, finish writing one and then okay so i'll say balloon red dot add image which is the balloon balloon red and then I'll, this is just a label and then i'll say balloon balloon image red so now i have i'll just go on with explaining the code so what happened balloon red stop oh sorry 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 yep okay so now <coughs> i'll just explain the code so i have said that for variable i is equal to 60 i should be this is the fact this is this is the condition so i should be less than 390 and i needs to be increased by 60 every time so and then i say that balloon uh red um you know in this create sprite and the as the y position changes i now put the variable in the y position and i added the images and now scale it because it is too too bigger so i'll just scale it to 0.1 i can also watch my another video on scaling where I ha i'll be telling you on how to scale objects and those stuff so yeah we got this right balloon here so now okay i'll just give this things to you when i increase to 80 what happens can you see it starts from down when i increase to 110 what happens it starts from down. It, so it is something like when the uh, for, for for loop, it is like when you are when you you need to uh, you are telling computer that fit how much ever uh, you know balloons you can in this space. So you are giving the space of one one zero to three ninety. So the what the uh, you know here you say the uh, the computer will understand that one one zero from one one zero. To 390 how much ever balloon it can fit it will create sprite here it will create for how much ever balloon it can fit so if i say that this is uh, and it should be less than maybe i say 200 let's see what happens it only creates two balloons because the computer no, uh, tells that i can only create two balloons in uh, your know, given space Okay, and why I plus 60 is because the balloon size, the balloons, you know, the gap of the balloons and how much space you need to live. You can live more, you can, you know, you can leave more space, but I want more balloons, so I am leaving some less space. Uh, but the thing is, you should not overlap each other. It can be, see, it should not overlap each other. So that's the key here. And yeah, I'll just uh, change it to my original again and i want you to create the green balloon the blue balloon the yellow balloon the yellow yeah uh, blue pink balloons so the thing is you need to be changing uh things and you see i i have given you some clues right from this place to this place see there are six balloons here and there are three five balloons and there are four and here there is three so what you need to do is you need to form the green balloons blue balloons pink balloons here each uh the for the uh, green balloons it needs to be the start position to be lesser and for the blue balloon more lesser pink balloon more lesser so can you see this is will be decreasing and the this position will be increasing which is nothing but this 390 right here should decrease should decrease 
or you can also maintain the same thing if you think it is uh, it has been decreased so it's your wish apply your own creativity uh, don't forget to scale your balloons and yeah let me pause this you know recording and take some break and come back and yeah uh, work on it and let me meet you so hello all i am back again so now i think you might have you know taken this variable and if you might have done this you might have this problem i is already defined so you need to change this variable to any other variable so that you know you don't get this error and if you ever you know get some another error maybe like anything maybe in scale maybe in something tag this link in the description box below and yeah i'll see if i can help it so okay so it's loading it let, let 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 me give some time so yeah it has finished on loading so you can change the i to some g for gray and for b for blue and for red it can be i itself and for pink it can be p so you can use your own uh, you know letters to it you can it should not be in the letters you can even give your own name maybe like in, i can give our uh, sound area is equal to 150 and sound area should be below than 280 and sound area is equal to sound area plus 60. so you can give that everything you where you want you can even give balloon pink and you can even write sentences we do this because we want it to be like you know we want it to be precise so yeah let's no let's start can you see it is not coming it is because yes i did i just did not do this one i just did die so i need to do this so be for blue and pink for pink and you're done okay now uh, it's all done so we will not move it to bow image bow image i'll just load the image bow image is equal to load image i'll say it as you know maybe bow uh, zero dot png and then i'll just put a colon and yeah it will be like a full stop me colon in javascript is like full stop it's equal to i'll say bow image and bow okay now we will now go to i uh, i will now you know create the bow so for the bow you need the bow to be there or uh, you know in, in the bow needs to be moving with your mouse y position so yeah let first of all let's create it i'll just create it that is i'll say it as bow is equal to create sprite I'll say 380 comma 200 comma 50 comma 50 and can you see the sprite has come we have not added the image when we add it it will come correctly the bow image will be coming correctly bow and bow image so yeah we have got this bow image here good well done now <laughs> i'm appreciating myself so now i'll go and tell in the um how we need to say the mouse by in the setup or function draw okay let me give it in the setup and see check you know bow dot bow dot y is equal to mouse y okay now let's check it's not working because it works only once because it's set up you know it doesn't reads again and again so we should not do that because currently if you take the current position how my you know while i'm doing like this i'm getting this one so you know while i'm going like this yeah while i'm going and to the play button it's coming at the top so it will take the current position of the mouse and it will place it so we don't want that we need to be moving so we'll do it in the draw function Okay, so now I'm gonna put it in the draw function and I'm done. So now after the draw function, I'm gonna say if he went down space, you need to create the arrows, right? So if he went okay, 
if he I'll I'll put down and I'll check what happens so that it'll be easy for me to you know tell the mistakes by doing mistakes. Space. If key dot space is equal to what what should happen? Arrow dot y should be equal to the bow dot y. Right? Yep. So now um yeah, we have done this one and we need to create the arrow with the function because we should not create it in um, the uh, draw function because draw function keeps on executing. If we do it in the if command, it won't be working good. So uh, for, you know, for uh, limiting the space, I'm going to do it in the function. I'm going to create the new function. Yeah, you can as said before you can just watch my other video on functions too. And I'll say create a row. So this will be a function which I'm gonna create. You can even do these things in if conditions, but I would prefer functions for it. So your code is more arranged. You know, if one third person reads it, they understand more quickly. What's that? What's that? What's that? Wait, 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 wait. Yep. No, it's correct. Functions. No, it should function. Yes. Now in the function thing, I'll write arrow is equal to. So the this function, as I said before, this will execute. You know, whenever the computer reads this line, whenever the computer reads line number fifty-six, it will go to line number sixty-one and reads everything, and then it will continue. So yeah, this is how the computer reads it. We can even say whenever the create arrow is there, function setup must run. Okay, that must be silly, but no need. Page sprite in what? In four hundred comma two. I'm I'm just gonna give some random values now. Huh? Some random thing, some random values. The width and height is not random, but we. Um, y position is random. I'll say arrow dot scale is equal to zero point three, so I'll scale down it, and I'll say arrow dot velocity x is equal to minus four, and I'll say arrow dot add image to it, which is nothing but the arrow image, arrow image, arrow image. And I'll, uh, you know, add that image to it. And hard code is done. Whoa. Okay, it's not working. It's not working. It's not working. Arrow image is not defined. So what happens? Some problem is here. We have not loaded yet. So we need to load it. We need to make some variables. Variable arrow and arrow image. And I'll say arrow image is equal to lower image and then arrow zero dot png. Right? Yep. So now I'm gonna like press space. Can you see it is not coming? Can you see that? It is just standing there, it is just creating, but it is not throwing away. It is because we have not created the velocity for the arrow. So we need to, you know, if there's some mistake in the velocity. I have my spelling is uh, really horrible, so I need to change it. Velocity, man, velocity. Right. Right. Can you see that when when you know I'm I'm just keep on pressing the space key, it is just creating. But in my thing, in my uh, this one, even though if I press this key, uh, space key millions of times, it is uh, only one arrow comes. So see here, yeah, we need to put key went down. So it will it will take that, you know, one arrow per key went down. Okay, so I'll say. Now it's coming correctly. I can only get one arrow. So my code is working. So yeah, that's it. We did it. Uh, make sure you save it and you share your project. You can just share and you can click, you know, you can click anything. President, full thing or edit. Edit will form like 
you know if you if you have any mistake click edit and share the edit if you don't have any mistake you just want to share it to me you can share full screen or you can share press it you can share anything great then okay so enjoy yourself be safe be healthy now it's me sandra k signing off don't forget to watch my other videos on and watch my next video on balloon booster pass